Have you ever felt manipulated in a relationship? This could be the handiwork of a tactic called triangulation, often employed by narcissists. Delving into the realm of psychology, triangulation is a manipulative strategy that involves bringing a third person into the relationship. This is not a benign move, mind you. It's a calculated action that creates a dynamic of jealousy, competition and insecurity. The unsuspecting victim is left feeling inadequate and insecure, their emotions swaying to the puppeteer's strings. The narcissist, in turn, revels in the drama, using it to control their victims and gain attention. It's a complex and devious strategy indeed. But don't despair just yet. By understanding the nature of triangulation, you equip yourself with the knowledge to recognize it, and more importantly, to protect yourself and others. Triangulation is a complex and devious strategy, but by understanding it, you can protect yourself and others. So how does a narcissist create this toxic triangle? Let's dive into the various methods they use. First off, they might play the comparison game, constantly pitting you against others, their ex-partners, friends, or even fictional characters. This comparison breeds feelings of inadequacy and insecurity, making you more dependent on them. Next, they may play favorites, creating a golden child and a scapegoat dynamic within their circle. This strategy fosters division and tension, making it harder for you to find support. They also create situations of jealousy, openly flirting with others or sharing exaggerated stories about their interactions. This leaves you feeling anxious and jealous, giving them more control over your emotions. Lastly, they may resort to spreading rumors and lies about you, painting themselves as the victim. This not only isolates you, but makes it challenging for you to defend your reputation. These tactics are designed to control, isolate, and manipulate victims, maintaining the narcissist's power. Why would someone resort to such manipulation? You might ask. Well, there are several reasons why narcissists employ the tactic of triangulation. Firstly, it's about control. By creating an emotional triangle, they can manipulate the feelings and actions of their victim. They can induce jealousy, foster insecurity, and even create a sense of dependence. Secondly, it's about attention. The drama and confusion stirred up by triangulation serves as a spotlight, drawing all eyes to the narcissist. They are the star of their own soap opera, with everyone else merely playing supporting roles. Thirdly, it's about power. The narcissist relishes the power dynamics they create within the triangle, enjoying the control they have over the emotions and actions of others. Finally, it's about justification. Triangulation allows narcissists to justify their own abusive behavior, blaming the victim or the third party for the problems within the relationship. By understanding the motivations behind triangulation, we can better recognize and respond to it. If you find yourself in a triangulated relationship, there are ways to cope. First and foremost, it's crucial to recognize the tactic. Understanding that you're being manipulated is the initial step to breaking free from its control. Triangulation is not about you, it's a power play, a game of chess where you're unwittingly the pawn. Once you've identified the strategy, the next step is to disengage from it. It might sound simple, but it's not always easy. The narcissist thrives on the drama, the chaos they create. They want you to react, to feel insecure, to question your worth. But remember, you don't have to play their game. Your emotions, your reactions, your peace of mind are yours to control. Don't give the narcissist that power. Setting boundaries is another important aspect of dealing with triangulation. Establish clear lines. Let the narcissist and the other person involved in the triangle know that you won't tolerate manipulative behavior. This could be as straightforward as walking away from a conversation when it starts to turn into a comparison or refusing to engage in discussions about the golden child or scapegoat. Seeking support is a vital part of coping with triangulation. Talk to a trusted friend, a family member, or a therapist about what you're going through. The simple act of sharing can be incredibly therapeutic, not to mention that it can offer a fresh perspective, a validation of your feelings and experiences. Lastly, if the triangulation continues and you can't manage it, it might be time to consider leaving the relationship. This is a hard decision to make, but sometimes, it's the best one for your mental and emotional health. Remember, you're not alone. 
many people have experienced triangulation, and with the right tools and support, you can break free from this manipulation and build a healthier, happier life.